In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a free five wide mini scheme that you can use to absolutely obliterate pretty much any defense that your opponent is going to use in Madden 21. This will also be something that I think is gonna be very effective in Madden 22. And we're gonna be giving you some principles that you can apply if you ever want to experiment with the five wide receiver spread offense in Madden. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my channel. Now, like I said in this video, we're gonna be going over a five wide receiver scheme. This is out of the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook. It's the empty tray stack. You can combine this with the empty Y flex and through packages and things like that, you can also do um, the empty Y bunch as well as some of the other packages within this offense. Uh, we've talked a little bit about the tray open as well in previous videos. So you can kind of mix all this together um, with what I'm about to show you. So as far as packages go, as you can see here, I'm in the empty tray stack. And if you look at this bottom, I can basically flick the right joystick to a direction and this is going to allow me to get a different package. Now real quick before we go any further, I do wanna let you know that I actually posted this entire scheme in its entirety on our true fan membership page. So if you haven't already become a true fan, be sure to do that. Um, it's just five bucks. And basically I've talked significantly uh, about this five wide. So if you want a little bit more of an in-depth scheme, then be sure to become a true fan. We release videos over there, um, exclusive videos to just those members. And then, like I said, it's just five bucks a month and we get you get an offense, a defense, and a pro player breakdown every single week. Now, as far as the packages go, you see here I can flick my right joystick and it's going to change who's on the field. So the two packages that I recommend is the halfback stack package. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to put your running back over here on the stack receiver. The other package that I really like is the wide receiver three stack. The reason I like the wide receiver three stack is because, as you can see, it puts a running back over here on the right side. So what we can simply do with this is what I personally recommend to people is to do the halfback stack package. The reason why is, as you can see here, um, if you look here, it says 87 on this middle slot receiver on the right. When you use halfback stack, it's gonna put a wide receiver there. So in this case, we are now a three wide receiver, one running back set. However, what you can do is you can come in here and you can hit the R1 button and you can sub, sub in players right in this position as well. So for example, I might want to make sure that Chris Godwin is right here on the slot and then I can put Mike Evans on the outside. The reason that I like this is what I can also do is as you see here, I can come down and put a running back in this position, which is going to allow me to go to different packages. So that's a little pro tip about how to use this. I personally like to have uh, most of the time the four wide receiver one tight end. Uh, just because I feel like I, I, I want to live and die out of the five wide. So I, th this is something that you have to commit to. If you want to play five wide receiver ball uh, in Madden, you have to commit to it. And um, because you're going to get challenges. It's tricky. You don't have a back end to protect. You, you're going to get shedded. You're going to get blitzed. Um, and so it's important to, but it's going to make you a better passer. And that's what we're after. So anyways, all that to say, the first play that I'm going to be breaking down in this five wide receiver uh, little mini scheme is my favorite play in the formation, and that's the fade out. And I have two different setups I'm going to be sharing with you um, in this video. And the first one is really um, my personal favorite for just gaining yards. This, this, this play is very good for attacking vertically down the field. It's also something that you can actually make a very good horizontal passing concept out of. And the reason why is because what I can do is I can simply put the square receiver here on a drag route and motion him out and snap him. And what you're going to see happen is he's going to get underneath every single zone in the game. There's not a zone, unless they put their zone drops on zero, and they would have to put their curl flats and their hook curls on zero, which is gonna completely open up the rest of the entire field. But you're gonna see here that I'm gonna simply be able to hit this drag route very simply put against any defense in the game. I like to motion them out, kind of get a delay drag. And what you'll see here is this just drags across really nicely. And as you can see right there, it's a free 15, uh, 10 to 15 yards. This is a concept that I actually picked up from the air raid offense in that one of the most popular ways that they like to tag their verticals is to take one player and put them on a shallow crossing route. That's basically what we're doing. We're taking this drag. I just like the fact that I can get him to drag across the whole field because if they're not playing hard flats over there, I can throw that ball right now. And I can throw it right now against most defenses. But let me show you. Let's say you get a blitz. So say you get a blitz that looks like that. Um, what you're going to notice here is this seam flat zone. You'll see here, drag right into the space that's wide open. So even with a hard flat, because there's not a hard flat in the yellow, then they're not gonna be able to stop that drag route. 
The other reason why I really like this is because let's say that they're playing uh, heavy coverage on you. Like let's say they're playing heavy cover three. Their user has to choose between this drag route and this crosser. So this crossing route to X, all we're gonna do is just, um, and I, I shouldn't have low passed that. If you have Gunslinger, it's a little bit easier to fit this in a window because we're talking about windows. But what you're gonna see happen is oftentimes their user is gonna be right over here. Okay, so I don't wanna like, I don't wanna forget about their user. Uh, I wanna deal with the user. So their user is gonna be over there. Pretty much guaranteed if they wanna defend this formation, that's where their user is gonna have to be. So now what we got, and of course I ran commit by mistake, but now what we have is we have three wide receivers to the non-user side. It's kind of similar to trips tied in in the sense that the trip side of the field is the one that's typically not gonna get user. Most of the time they're gonna use that backside. Okay, so what you're gonna get though is you're gonna get this one-on-one -on -one between this crosser. Um, as you see, he's gonna split the safeties right up there and that's what we're looking for. So essentially, if that user bails to the crosser, you hit the drag. If the user sits on the crosser, then or uh, sits on the drag, then you can hit the crossing route. It's one of my favorite concepts to just simply work the ball up and down the field against zone. Now, the other thing about cover three, and this is a little bit of a tighter window. I might not be able to hit this with Tom Brady, but what you'll see here is if I just wait on this R1, um, and of course, I, I might need to put a comeback out there, but that R1 route, if their cover three is flipped, that's going to be wide open up in the seams. Um, but if it's not flipped, if, they're in, if they have auto flip bomb, it's probably not going to work uh, because as you see here, the safety is there. But let's say that they're in, let's say that they want to do something like this. Like let's say that you see like an inside quarter. Um, the more they try to adjust that left side, whether it be an inside quarter or a deep half zone on that safety, what you're going to see is that this R1 receiver pass lead him to the inside and you can get some inside position. The other thing is your tight end route is going to continue to come more open. Let me show you uh, real quick a cover two. Now, the reason I want to show a cover two is just so you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like. I don't see a lot of cover two in this offense. Uh, most people don't run that. And I'm gonna put a deep third here just so you can see that as well. But if they run cover two, your cover two read is to your uh, circle receiver. So you're gonna see right here, the circle receiver to the outside, pass lead that to the outside, and you're gonna be able to beat cover two over the top. The last little progression that I wanna go over in this video is man to man. So if they give you a man to man read, um, really the best thing to do, if you get man to man, your crossing route will be open when it cuts the inside. But the main route that I almost every single time hit is that route to Mike Evans. So thanks for watching this video. We're gonna have some more videos on this over the course of the next couple of videos. So make sure to uh, subscribe. And if you wanna get the full five wide receiver scheme out of the Pit Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, I'm gonna be putting it in the True Fan membership. You can sign up for that today. There's a link down in the description it's going to continue all the way throughout Madden 22. So thanks for your support. And if you want to get access to that, just sign up for that. There's a link in the description for you.